God's people, the Israelites, had arrived at Mount Sinai. Moses climbed up the mountain, and the Lord gave him a message for the people. If you obey me, you will be my treasured possession. Israel would be a special nation. When the people heard God's message, they said they would do all that he said. God told Moses that none of the people were to go up the mountain or touch it. If any man or beast did so, they would die. On the third day, the people specially washed their clothes because God was going to come down in a thick cloud. There was thunder and lightning and a loud trumpet blast, and all the Israelites trembled. Then Moses went back up the mountain, and God spoke from the mountain and gave these ten commandments to the people. Number one, you shall have no other gods before me. That means you should put the Lord first in your life. Number two, you shall not make for yourself an image. You shouldn't make statues or pictures of God or bow down to them. Number three, you shall not take the Lord's name in vain. That means you should be careful and respectful in the way you use God's name and not curse him. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. One day each week you should rest from your work and set the day apart for God. Number five, honour your father and your mother. Show respect to your parents. Number six, you shall not murder. Treat other people's lives with respect and don't kill them. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. That means you should be faithful to your husband or wife. Number eight, you shall not steal. Don't take things that belong to other people. Number nine, you shall not bear false witness. Speak the truth and don't lie. Number ten, you shall not covet. That means you shouldn't be jealous about what other people have. These were the ten important rules that the people were to obey. And these commandments show us how holy God is. He is good and pure and perfect. And to please him, we need to be perfect too. But the commandments also show us how sinful we are. None of us is perfect. None of us manages to keep God's commands. We've all broken them. And the commandments show us we need a saviour. We need someone to save us from the punishment we deserve for breaking God's laws. We need someone who can put us right with God. We need the Lord Jesus Christ.